A meme has been circulating featuring Tiktaalik Rosie, the iconic, four-legged fishapod that first transitioned from water to land 375 million years ago. Most variations show Tiktaalik poking its head out of the water and ready to crawl ashore, while an out-of-frame hand threatens it with a stick. The joke is that those of us exhausted by the modern world wish we could go back in time, shoo it back into the water, and stop evolution in its tracks. Sparing ourselves the present day of war, pestilence, and internet memes. As it turns out, one of Tiktaalik's close relatives did just that, opting to return to living in open water instead of venturing onto land. A new study by University of Chicago professor Neil Shubin, who co-discovered Tiktaalik in 2004, describes a fossil species that closely resembles Tiktaalik. But this species had features that suited it more to life in the water than its adventurous cousin. The new species, Kikkiktania wakeii, was small, just 30 inches long, compared to Tiktaalik, which could grow up to nine feet. The new fossil includes partial upper and lower jaws, portions of the neck, and scales. Most importantly. It also features a complete pectoral fin with a distinct humerus bone that lacks the ridges that would indicate where muscles and joints would be on a limb geared toward walking on land. Instead, Kikkiktania's upper arm was smooth and curved, more suited for a life paddling underwater. The arm bones of Kikkiktania suggest that it returned to paddling the water after its ancestors began to use their appendages for walking. Shubin and his field partner, Ted Deschler. From Drexel University, found the fossils days before Chicktalik was discovered at a site in northern Arctic Canada. They collected the specimens from a quarry after spotting a few rocks with distinctive white scales on the surface. But these specimens sat in storage, mostly unexamined, while the team focused on preparing Chicktalik. In March 2020, Justin Lumberg and Tom Stewart. Postdoctoral researchers at the University of Chicago CT scanned one of the larger rock specimens and realized that it contained a pectoral fin. They could hardly believe it when the first grainy images of a pectoral fin came into view, said Lumberg. Unfortunately, it was too deep inside the rock to get a high-resolution image, and they couldn't do much more with it once the pandemic forced labs to close. When campus facilities reopened, they had access to equipment that could trim pieces off the specimen and produce a better image. The resulting images revealed a complete pectoral fin and upper limb, including the distinctive humerus bone. That's what blew our minds, Shubin said. It's a fabulous story. Kikkiktania is slightly older than Tiktaalik, but not by much. The team's analysis of where it sits on the tree of life places it. Like Tiktaalik, adjacent to the earliest creatures known to have finger-like digits, but even though Kikkiktania's distinct pectoral fin was more suited for swimming, it wasn't entirely fish-like either. Kikkiktania shows that some animals stayed on a different path that ultimately didn't work out. Maybe that's a lesson for those wishing Tiktaalik had stayed in the water with Kikkiktania. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe.